I'm currently reading H.W. Brand's excellent Franklin Roosevelt biography, Traitor to His Class, and recently learned something that I should have already known. Growing up, I'd always been told that President Roosevelt was granted special dispensation to serve a third and later a fourth term because of the extraordinarily perilous position the country found itself in during World War II. But that's not true. FDR served more than two terms because the 22nd Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, which limits the number of times a person could be elected to office, didn't yet exist. That wouldn't be introduced and approved by Congress until 1947 and wouldn't be ratified by the states until 1951. Up to that point, there was nothing stopping any president from running for any additional terms. So why hadn't any? Because George Washington and Thomas Jefferson, America's first and third presidents. John Adams, the country's second president, served only one term because his re-election bid was foiled by Jefferson. Decided not to serve third terms, which established the two-term tradition. And there were plenty of people at the time, including James Madison and Alexander Hamilton, who supported lifetime tenure for presidents, something their opponents dubbed an elective monarchy. From 1789 until 1951, 162 years, the only thing stopping American presidents from staying in office longer than eight years was a mere custom. And while most Americans in the mid-20th century and most historians today regard Roosevelt's choice to remain at the helm for an unprecedented four terms as the correct one, lawmakers quickly realized that it set a dangerous precedent that needed to be curtailed. Stay curious, my friends.